So you want to know the difference between Carnival cruise ships. You're probably planning a cruise or have already booked one, and you want to know which ships are better or worse than others. I am going to go through some of the technical aspects, like their sizes, but I'm going to spend the most time on the types of activities that each ship offers, as I think this is what most people are interested in when looking for the differences in Carnival ships. The good news is that Carnival really doesn't have bad ships. The oldest ship in their fleet was launched in 1990, with most of them being a lot newer. And even the old ones have been renovated and remodeled several times, so you probably won't notice the age of any ship you sail on. As for the differences in sizes, there aren't what I would call significant differences. The largest Carnival ships are in their Dream class, including the Carnival Breeze, Magic, and Dream which are 130,000 tons and can carry around 3,600 passengers. The smallest ships are from the Fantasy class, including the Carnival Elation, Paradise, Inspiration, Imagination, Fascination, Sensation, Ecstasy, and Fantasy. These are about 70,000 tons and can carry around 2,050 passengers. They're all huge ships, and even if you're sailing on one of their smaller ships, you certainly won't think of it as small. All Carnival ships have the same basic features and activities. The differences can be thought of as upgrades, mostly. I will start out by listing the things that every single Carnival cruise ship currently offers. As far as free food goes, all Carnival ships have a Sea Day brunch restaurant, Signature Dining, this is where you will probably eat dinner most nights in kind of an upscale atmosphere, they also have casual dining, which includes things like the Lido Deck, which is a 24-hour sit-anywhere buffet with all kinds of delicious options. They also have a taste bar, which has complimentary appetizers. They have a free coffee bar. And the last one that every ship has is something that you do have to pay for. It's called the Chef's Table, which includes a tour and a several-course private meal. It costs about $75 a person. Other than those options, which are on all Carnival ships, there are a number of other dining experiences which vary from ship to ship. Let's start out with the free ones. There are things like Guy's Burger Joint by celebrity chef Guy Fieri, as well as Blue Iguana Cantina, a Mexican restaurant, and both of those are available on the following ships. Carnival Breeze, Conquest, Freedom, Glory, Liberty, Sunshine, and Triumph. There's also the Mongolian Walk, a design-your-own stir-fry bar, and it's available on the following ships. Carnival Breeze, Dream, Ecstasy, Elation, Fantasy, Fascination, Freedom, Imagination, Inspiration, Liberty, Magic, Paradise, Sensation, Splendor, Sunshine, and Valor. Sea Dogs, a hot dog joint, is available on the Carnival Breeze, Magic, and Sunshine, while Fat Jimmy's Seaside Barbecue is only available on the Carnival Breeze, and Pizzeria del Capitano is only available on the Carnival Sunshine. Before we get to restaurants available on select ships that will cost you extra money, let's look at the ones that are in between. The following restaurants have free items on the menu as well as paid items. Cucina del Capitano is a nice little Italian restaurant, and it has a free lunch menu, but the full-service dinner is extra. It's on the Carnival Breeze, Magic and Carnival Sunshine. Also, there is Gigi's Asian Kitchen, which has a menu with some free items and some items that will cost you. It's currently only available on the Carnival Sunshine. Moving on to paid restaurants on select ships. Most, but not all, Carnival ships have a steakhouse where you pay $35 a person or something for a delicious upscale meal, and it's available on the Carnival Breeze. Conquest, Dream, Freedom, Glory, Legend, Liberty, Magic, Miracle, Pride, Splendor, Sunshine, and Valor. Banzai Sushi is a reasonably priced sushi restaurant, and it's available on the Carnival Breeze, Legend, and Sunshine. There is also an upscale coffee house, as well as a shake bar, which are only available on the Carnival Sunshine. Before we move away from food, let me give you my list of top five ships just in terms of additional eating options other than the standards. Number one, Carnival Sunshine. Number two, Carnival Breeze. Number three, Carnival Liberty. Number four, Carnival Freedom. And number five, Carnival Magic. Moving on to entertainment. Here again, it doesn't really matter which ship you sail on because you're going to be very busy no matter which boat you board. There are certain types of entertainment that you will find on any and every ship in the fleet. Things like the Punchline Comedy Club, 
live shows, live music, karaoke, DJs, a video arcade, mini golf, sports activities, pools, shopping, an internet cafe, a nightclub, a piano bar, and a casino. By the way, every ship has the same types of casino games, including poker, tournaments, bingo, blackjack, craps, roulette, and slot machines. Bars. Although every ship has a ton of bars, there are some that have more than others, and we'll get to that in a minute. Health and fitness and relaxation. Every ship also has a jogging track, a spa, yoga and pilates, a fitness center, a hair and beauty salon, as well as a kind of spa just for men. As far as activities for kids, every single ship in the fleet has the following activities for kids. Camp Carnival, Night Owls, Circle C for ages 12 to 14, and Club O2 for teens. Okay, let's move on to types of entertainment that not every ship has. After all, this video is about the differences between Carnival cruise ships, not their similarities. Many Carnival ships have movie theaters. The Seaside Theater and the Drive-In Movie, which occur on the deck of the boat on a very large screen, are available on the following ships. Carnival Breeze, Conquest, Dream, Freedom, Glory, Liberty, Magic, Splendor, Sunshine, Triumph, Valor, and Victory. There is even something called the Thrill Theater, which is a 3D movie with moving seats and other special features, but this theater is currently only on the Carnival Breeze. Waterworks, a water park on Carnival ships, is available on the following ships. Carnival Breeze, Dream, Ecstasy, Fantasy, Fascination, Imagination, Inspiration, Legend, Magic, Sensation, and Sunshine. Almost all ships have an art gallery and a library, but a few of the newer ones don't. They also have something I think is really cool called Sports Square, which is an innovative outdoor recreation area with a ton of fun activities, including a rope course, and it's available on the Carnival Breeze, Magic, and Sunshine. Another thing your kids ages 2 to 5 might enjoy is something called Seuss at Sea, an activity featuring characters from Dr. Seuss books available on the Carnival Breeze, Freedom, Splendor, and Sunshine, as well as many others added all the time. All of the ships have live stage shows, but a few ships have something called Playlist Productions, which takes tunes you know and puts them live on stage, and this is available on the following ships. Carnival Breeze, Conquest, Ecstasy, Fantasy, Fascination, Glory, Imagination, Inspiration, Legend, and Sunshine. These are the exact same ships that also have a candy store called Cherry on Top. Bars. As mentioned before, you will never have trouble finding a bar on a Carnival Cruise Liner, but certain ships have some bar experiences that are a little different than others. For example, there is something called the Red Frog Rum Bar available on the Carnival Breeze, Conquest, Dream, Freedom, Glory, Liberty, Sunshine, and Triumph, and also on those same ships you will find the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. And on all of the same ships, except for the Carnival Breeze, you will find the Alchemy Bar and the EA Sports Bar. As a side note, most other ships do have a sports bar, but not an EA Sports Bar. Only the Carnival Breeze and Carnival Sunshine have a Library Bar, and only the Carnival Sunshine has a Havana Bar. Based on this research, I will conclude this with three more top five lists. The first is my top five Carnival cruise ships for entertainment. Number one, the Carnival Breeze. Number two, the Carnival Sunshine. Number three, the Carnival Magic. Number four, Carnival Dream. And number five, the Carnival Sensation. The next is my top five Carnival ships for kids. The Carnival Breeze, the Carnival Sunshine, the Carnival Magic, the Carnival Legend, and the Carnival Fascination. And finally, my top five for bars and drinking. Number one, the Carnival Sunshine. Number two, the Carnival Freedom. Number three, the Carnival Breeze. Number four, the Carnival Conquest. And number five, the Carnival Liberty. Thanks for watching, and if you thought this information was helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, or share.